Hello team and welcome back to Daisy Builds. This is going to be a bit more of an unusual one because this is going to be a house build, um, which which are a little bit more challenging for a number of reasons. And um, we'll um, we'll go over we'll go over a couple of those in a minute. So this is the piano house. That's why, um, because it has a piano in it. <clears throat> It has three uh, doors on the ground floor, which is a bit of a nuisance, but uh, there you go. And it has uh, stairs that lead to an upstairs area, and it has this uh, upstairs room up here, which affords you this uh, this area that you can look out and have a look around and duck down and do all the bits and pieces that you need to do. But um, we need to we need to talk about the um, the overall layout that's going to be happening down in here, and um, and the reason we need to make the most of uh, of what's happening down here is because we can't build up here. So I've got this fence kit in my hand, and you see it won't let me build. Now there's no reason that I can't build here other than this ceiling. So it, it won't it won't let me build up here. Um, I haven't found a place that's going to be of any use to me where I can build. I can't build here, uh, even if I were to shut that door, which is a bit of a, a clasher. Um, I can't. It won't let me build there uh, if I swing it around. So I've got it the other way. Um, it just it won't let me do it. So can't build upstairs. So that's that's that ruled out so if we can't build upstairs we cannot build upstairs so we'll have to do something instead so what we're going to do instead you can build here on this landing but um, it's also possible to uh, climb these stairs if I were to drop something that I'm carrying which is heavy you can actually yeah, you can climb there. So I could put something across, but it would it probably wouldn't work because people would just climb the stairs and uh, would bypass your gate. So we need to pick an entrance down here, and this is the best place to have an entrance because this is the best place to have a straightforward and simple gate that is going to be sufficiently over that I can access the code lock. Um, these are going to be angled uh, walls, and it's the only place that you can get one of these uh, th things in, or it's the only type of wall you can get in here is an angled wall. And um, and the issue is, yes, I can open the code lock, but I would have to back all the way out because the door is going to swing past me. So this is just going to be an angled wall, which is just a baffle wall. And then um, this is an angled baffle wall as well. Um, so if these walls get breached, they come in here. Yes, they can find themselves this thing, and we need to obviously bear in mind, but they can't jump this because the the ceiling's on top. But we can put some barbed wire around this around these inner walls. That's not a problem. Um, so they can find themselves around in here, but then they have this other uh, blocking area which is going to prevent them, and that means that we can also be uh, up here. Uh, you know, shooting down, whatever, we got a little bit of cover, we can get down here, etc, etc. It's snug, but then houses are always going to be. Houses are going to be simple, because there's there's not a lot of space to work with. If you want to make something large and complex and, and nifty, um, go and do it somewhere else. You could just put a gate across here. I mean, if, if you really wanted, you know, you could just squeeze a gate and maybe another one. Uh, an overlapping wall and a gate here and you could just keep it that simple <clears throat> and you could just have one gate one overlapping wall you can't climb this because again you, you get stuck with the with the clashing on top it won't it won't let you climb it so you can't climb that so you could keep it simple this is a little bit more than simple it adds an extra layer of defenses so you've got all of these extra layers of defenses that that keep you protected but it's by no means the simplest way of perhaps doing it it's an it's a thought it's an idea i'm not doing every possible configuration in these builds this is just one idea so one two three four, five, six. Six uh, fence panels is what we're going to end up with. 
with um, two of those fence panels being turned into gates. Um, I have a little bit of metal, so I might put some metal um, around the bases of these three. And, um, and I have some barbed wire and put some barbed wire on the top. But um, for right now, I've um, got my trusty hoe right here, my preferred implement for digging. Why is it your preferred implement for digging, LJ? Well, I am so glad you asked. It's my preferred implement for digging because you can sharpen it. And it's um, it takes up 14 space. It's about 2 kg, slightly lighter than the pickaxe, which you can also sharpen. You can't sharpen a shovel, which is a real shame. Um, but you can definitely sharpen the um, sharpen the hoe. So um, I better get on digging these in, hadn't I? Right, well, here we are. Here's the finished article. So let's just, um, <clears throat> we'll have a take a look around the side door. So anyone coming in through the side door would be faced with, oh, well, there's a big there's a big wall here. I don't know, I can see some well, something up there. I don't know what's going on. Okay, fine. Go around the other side. If they went around the other side of the building, they'd, they'd find the same thing. They'd find themselves an angled door. They come in here. They'd, uh, they'd find themselves a gate and be like, oh, what's this? Oh, there's a code lock in there, which you can just reach. You need to um, you need to monkey around, but you need to um, you need to find the correct position, and you will find it. And there you go. You pick that up. You can open the gate. You can close the gate. And you can put your padlock back on the gate, and you find yourself in here. And you see you have these walls in here. This one's a bit of a squeeze actually, so I'm not sure. They might might be able to jank their way through there, but maybe not. We got uh, metal around the lower portion of the walls, like I said. We got barbed wire around the top portion of the walls, like I said. So even if they come in here and they get up to here, there's 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 no way through there. There's no way over the top of there. And, um, and these collision boxes make um, getting through there impossible you got on this side you got definitely no one getting through there one way or another so that's all good if this is our base we have our code lock on this side we can jinkle away nice and happily and safe inside here then we come inside close up our gate hit our padlock on it and here we are we're upstairs you see so we've got um, quite a bit of security up here from anyone trying to reach us or trying to get to us. There's no easy way through, no easy path, and um, things like throwing grenades are going to fall foul of these, these bits of barbed wire. And then we've got up here, we've got plenty of spacious room to drop barrels, crates, um, whatever you like. Um, might be a bit of a squeeze fitting a tent in, but you could probably fit a tent in and walk your way around it if you want to, but you could probably get more value out of barrels you can come in here you can have more uh, more barrels in here you can certainly keep an eye on the town and an eye on the weather and an eye on what's going on all around you so uh, there you go that's uh, this is the piano house build this is a build this is my build it might be a little bit more uh, overkill 
um, than some of you would like, but it's not it's not desperately bad. It's not desperately bad, and um, metal around the bottom, making the the most use of the metal that we have, noting that the metal will provide the most amount of protection from people blowing up the bottom and crawling under. You can't blow up the top and climb over, so that that's what that is. So um, yeah, so let's do some math on exactly what it takes to build this little uh, this little base, shall we? So we have uh, a total of six fences. We have three plain wooden fences, which are all the same, and three um, combined um, metal and wood fences with barbed wire on, which is the same, and two of those fence pencils, one wood and one metal and uh, wood combined have been made into gates, which requires some wire and a couple of code locks. But what does that look like? Well, the fences, as you know, uh, are uh, two logs, eight nails and four planks for the lower frame and eight nails and four planks for the upper frame uh, the lower wooden wall is eight nails and five planks and the upper wooden wall is eight nails and five planks and um, all of that is uh, times three so that is going to require the total of six logs 96 nails and 54 planks one of those being made into a gate requires one wire and one code lock. For the combined walls, you're going to require, uh, for each of them, you're going to require uh, two logs, eight nails, and four planks each uh, for the uh, lower frame, and eight nails and four planks for the upper frame. You are going to require uh, eight nails and five planks for the upper wooden wall, and you are going to require 12 nails and three metal sheets for the lower wall, and you're going to require one barbed wire. So the total for the um, combined wooden metal walls for three of them is going to be uh, six logs. 108 nails, 39 planks, 3 barbed wire, and for one of them to be made into a gate, one wire, and one code lock. So then the total project build for this uh, piano house secure base will be 12 logs 204 nails 93 planks three barbed wire two wire and two code locks and uh, and there you go i mean i think it looks pretty tidy it is it's not that bad you know like i say ugh. All bases come with with pros and cons. This is this is not too bad. You've got limited uh, limited areas to build with. You've obviously got a number of doors you got to contend with. You've got this little peaky hole here, which um, didn't quite manage to marry that up. There's a little uh, problem with the collision with the step here. Maybe you might be able to iron that out if you're doing this instead of me. But all in all. I think it's not too bad. It's a place to hide away from the world, a place to find yourself security. And um, again, concealment is the key and uh, multiple layers of defenses. So it's just one build. There are many more. There always are. But I do hope you like this one. Please do click the like. Please subscribe to the channel to see uh, more builds just like this. And please feel free to drop any comments, tips, tricks or suggestions um, or make any requests. And I will see you all again real, real soon. It's over now. PlayStation.